Hello, this is Alex from the Siebel Hub, and today we are having a first here on the Siebel Hub. It's a first look at the new Siebel Web Tools application, also known as the CRM Composer. So we have that open here in our browser. And the first look at the Composer is that we have screens like Applet, Application, Business Component, and via those screens, similar to Siebel tools, we can access uh, the object types and query for any object like business objects here or business components there. And so it's a familiar experience from the navigation. And we are going to have a live example of configuring um, using the new CRM composer Let's start with looking at Siebel Sales. So here we are, Siebel Sales account screen, um, standard edition. So there is the site field and it's not required. And in our simplistic first example, we are going to make this field required without any SRF compilation. So let's see how we do that. First, we get to the correct business component. So let's find the account business component and as you can see in the writable column here there's no so we have no write access let's change that and let's in the menu we find lock object just like we would do in Siebel tools so now it's locked we have write access scrolling down to the field list let's find the uh, location field and found it. So good idea probably is to maybe lock the columns a bit and scroll to the right um, until we see the required property. So there is no property window as of this release. So it is uh, required to scroll in the list. And we set the required flag for the location field. Step of the record as usual to save it. And once the change is done, we can go back and unlock the business component object. So now the next step is actually to publish these changes that we do in a screen, in a new screen called Administration Runtime Configuration. And you see that there's an update made to the account business component and we can publish individual updates or we can publish all the modification modified objects so let's click publish on this one and while this publishes oh, it's already done quite fast so let's log off again log off and log on again to siebel sales Okay, so here we are back in Siebel Sales, and now we are in the account screen. Let's go to one of our recent records, and indeed, we can confirm the site field is now required. So that concludes our Hello World example of the new CRM Composer. Uh, please visit the Siebel Hub regularly for new updates on Siebel 15. And thanks for now, and bye-bye.